You're watching WFXR News first at 10. Returning back to our coverage from Lane Stadium, the Virginia Tech versus West Virginia game just wrapping up this hour with the Mountaineers winning 33 to 10. And WFXR Sports Director Jermaine Farrell is there for us tonight. Jermaine, man, this is a tough loss for Hokie fans tonight. Well, thank you so much, Evan. Indeed, it was a tough loss. And the biggest thing when you look at this ball game, it was kind of a mirror, mirror image, uh, a mirror image, I should say, of what happened in Old Dominion. They had costly penalties in the second half that limited an opportunity to extend drives for West Virginia, and they definitely got that going. But overall, at the beginning of the game, things looked great for the Hokies. They did get a touchdown as Kayla Smith caught a touchdown pass from Grant Wells. Grant Wells fired up about the ball game, and considering the fact he is a West Virginia native, and I'm sure he was definitely looking to be a part of that big game. Game. But then in the second half, West Virginia drove the ball down the field. They didn't get touchdowns. They got field goals. And then even in the second half, they wore down the Virginia Tech defense as they started to run the ball, pound the defense of the Virginia Tech Hokies. And a lot of disappointed Virginia Tech Hokies are leaving Lane State. In fact, a lot of them left a little bit early because of the disappointment and a 33-10 loss to West Virginia. The Black Diamond Trophy, it was here, a staple at Virginia Tech for several years until they renewed the interest of the game. But before we talk more about the Black Diamond Trophy, let's take a listen to Coach Brent Pryce. He talks about what happened during tonight's game. You know, obviously disappointed. You know, we just we didn't play complimentary football, and we're we're at a point right now as a team we have to do that. You know, we can't leave too much to overcome in any phase, and uh, you know we just kind of. You know, either we weren't making them earn it or we were shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit. So, you know, we've, we've got we to own it and we've got to be better in a bunch of areas. Um, and we can be. That's the encouraging thing. And the Coach Pride, there's still a lot of optimism for this Virginia Tech football team, but again, they cannot have the penalties. They cannot have the turnovers and things of that nature if you're going to have success. And they're building the culture. Hokie Nation fired up for this ball game. They're going up against the West Virginia Mountaineers, but in the end, it was just a tough loss. Now, as far as the Black Diamond Trophy is concerned, West Virginia is going to take it back home with them, and they were partying, celebrating with the trophy, and they got a big win here tonight at Lane Stadium as the Virginia Tech Hokies. They fall to the West Virginia Mountaineers by the score of 33 to 10. Looking ahead to the Virginia Tech football season, they get a little bit of a break because they played on Thursday, so they get a little bit of a break to, you know, recalibrate and get things going. But then on October the 1st, the Virginia Tech Hokies, they will take a trip down to North Carolina to face the North Carolina Char Tar Heels down in Chapel Hill with that game still up in the air about what time that game will kick off. And of course, we'll have much more on this game coming up tomorrow morning on Good Day Virginia as we'll rock and roll with that. For now, we are here live at Blacksburg at Lane Stadium following the Virginia Tech Hokies, Jermaine Farrell, WFXR Sports. All right, Jermaine. Well, there, I'm, sure, I'm sure there will be another chance for our Hokies to get that Black Diamond Trophy back in Blacksburg. Thanks so much for your reporting. We're taking a look now.